Hello, everyone. Uh, this lecture is going to talk about uh, economic value added and market value added. So I'm going to show you how to use the balance sheet and income statement data to calculate the market value added and the economic value added. Okay, so uh, first let us uh, start with the market value added. So the market value added calculation is a little bit easier. So the market value added is the market value of equity minus the book value of equity. Okay, so you can see that the market value of equity and the book value of common equity are different thing. Okay, so how you calculate the market value of equity? So market value of equity is uh, also called market cap. Okay, market cap. So in sometimes we call the capitalization is going to be the current stock price times the total. Uh, shares of common stock outstanding. So the market value is the common equity is equal to, let's say, equal to the shares. Let's say the current stock price is $20, the share price times the total um, shares of common stock outstanding. So let's say, you can get this data from the income statement. For example, uh, you have these numbers here is a four meaning 117,000. That's the total number of common shares outstanding. And then you minus the book value of total equity. So the book value of total equity uh, is from the balance sheet here. Total common equity is 31, meaning 170,000. Uh, so the number is um, close to the bottom. So the total common equity, okay, 31,170,000 in the balance sheet. Enter. So that's your market value uh, added. So now we calculate the economic value added. So the economic value added is a little bit uh, complex. So we uh, got to have to use the formula. So the economic value added is a measure of the amount of profit remaining after accounting for the return expected by the firm's investor. So basically economic value added is the true value generated by the company's management. So sometimes we use economic value added to measure the firm's performance or the management as contribution to the firm's value. So we're using economic value added to determine the CEO's compensation. So that's the true value generated by the CEO or the management. <clears throat> so you can see economic value added, they have a, um, two parts. Uh, the EBIT times one minus uh, the effective tax rate. So TR is a tax rate. Okay, so for this company is 25%, okay, income tax rate. Um, the minus invested capital and then times the KA, which is the investor required rate of return on their investment. So we also use the weighted average cost of capital or the WAC 
okay, to replace the, the, uh, the required rate of return. So basically they are the same thing. So usually uh, we use a WAC here. So you can see um, this two part, the first uh, part we have the um, tax rate, effective tax rate. <clears throat> Okay, 21%, you can from the income statement is the uh, income before tax and be the net income, you will see what is the effective tax rate based on the tax you paid uh, to the federal or the state. And the 25% is given. And also you have the WAC, okay, is given, which is 12%, so you already have the WAC, which is to about 12%. So the parameters Mason is EBIT. So the EBIT here, actually you can get from the income statement, okay? EBIT is earnings before interest and a tax. It's also called operating income, okay? For this question is 7 million 200 thousand. And also, the invested capital. So the invested capital is a, a little bit tricky here. So you gotta have to calculate. So what is invested capital? Invested capital is the market value of equity plus the value of debt. Okay, remember we talked about the market value of equity, right? Market value of common equity is the common shares outstanding times the stock price. Okay, so we have the shares, okay, for me, something, and then your, the stock price. Um, another part is the market value of debt. So invested capital, including market value of common equity and the market value of debt. Okay, so please be noticed that the market value of debt and the book value of debt are the same thing. So there is no difference, but the market value of equity is different from the book value of equity, right? Okay, so the total invested capital is a, equal to market value of covered equity is common shares outstanding Okay, for many, 117,000 times. Uh, the share price okay, is $20. And plus the market value of debt. Okay, market value of debt. So the market value of debt is um, Notes payable plus long-term debt. So the notes payable, right here you can get from the balance sheet. Notes payable is, okay, here, three mini. And the plus long-term debt. Okay, that's a 15 mini. Now that we get up to the total invested capital, okay. Then we apply the formula, so we can have EBIT is EBIT seven million two hundred three, and then the times one minus. The tax rate, effective income tax rate, right? 25% minus the invested capital. So we have the invested capital and that uh, times the WAC, okay, which is 12%. Okay, you times WAC, which is 12%. You can put the parentheses if you want to, and then you click on enter, you will get the 
economic value added. Okay, so your economic value added is six million sixty uh, six uh, hundred and forty thousand and eight hundred. 